University students in certain areas of Afghanistan have resumed studies after a month-long delay. The Taliban announced on Wednesday that public universities for both men and women in six provinces have reopened. I'm very happy that the universities are reopened. It is good news for the youth in different provinces. However, attendance so far is low with fever girls attending their classes. The Taliban have implemented a number of restrictions on women since taking power in August 2021, including prohibiting females from pursuing secondary school, working outside the home and traveling without a close male relative. The Taliban have also implemented gender restrictions in the classroom, mandating that the universities provide separate classes for men and women. And if that all possible, the Taliban want female teachers to teach female students and women teachers are hard to find. It is a major step. It is good news and we welcome that female students can continue their education in a safe environment. If universities face a shortage of female faculty members, they should train more to fill the vacuum. But it's not just women teachers that are in the short supply. Following the Taliban's takeover of Kabul in August 2021, hundreds of university professors fled the country, experts say. Due to the political situation, some of the teachers have left the country. Teachers who went for their master's and PhD degrees will not return. They applied for asylum there. Those remaining have problems with the leadership in the universities. And students say morale is low among some teachers who stayed. The professors are also not that enthusiastic. There's a shortage of professors. The Taliban have said that public universities in the rest of the country will reopen on February 26th. Wahid Faizi, VUA News, Washington.